Yeah, I, with the wind and the traffic and me being an old man, I can't hear that. <laughs> no, it's I'm Madison. Madison, nice to meet you. We're nice Christians to meet you. as well. I'm just yeah. here for my yearly exam. But At the fertility center? Well, he's been my doctor for eight years. But yeah, he did my, my stepmom's in Metro, so that's about where their brothers were born. Mm -hmm. so. But we're here to expose what's happening right now. Okay. Do you know that? In the process of creating life through IVF, uh -huh. approximately for every baby created, 20 are murdered. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. That's why we're here. Oh, because okay. people think that God, first of all, it's God that opens and closes the womb. Okay? Yeah. All right? So people think that, first off, they'll circumvent that. Yeah. And, and we understand, you know, it's, 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 it's a very difficult thing. Yep. that you're infertile you can't have children or whatever yeah. but when you go outside of as in all things you go outside yeah. of god's will yeah. and you take it upon yourself yeah. okay that's when you start getting into trouble with the word of god yeah. you see they take 20 eggs or whatever mm -hmm. fertilize them freeze them right then they take about six or eight of them right. that are viable they think mm -hmm. and they implant them yeah. and then out of those six or eight they look, well, that one's the strongest, we'll remove the rest. What do you think that removal is called? Yeah, abortion. It's called abortion. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with that. And then if that baby doesn't take, okay, that's a life that they created and now is also dead, yeah. and then they'll just do it again. Right. Okay, now on top of all of that, say somebody does, it takes, uh -huh. all right, they've killed six or eight, but uh -huh. they have a baby. And they decide, well, I don't want the rest. So what do we do? We take those frozen. We either destroy them. Yeah. Or we sell them to be researched on. Yeah. And that's what we're here. You know, all life is valuable. That's what God's word says. Yeah. All life is precious from conception. That yeah. God knew that baby before that baby was even formed oh, in the Petri dish. He predestined you. And that's why, you know, I mean, I understand you've been going to this guy for eight years. But that would be like saying... You know, I've known a Mengele for eight. I mean, he's a really nice guy to me. Yeah. But Joseph Mengele, you know, do you know who Joseph Mengele is? No. <laughs> okay. He was the doctor that killed and experimented on the children in Auschwitz. Gotcha. Okay. But see, a lot of people thought he was a really nice guy. Yeah. And as a Christian, it would be your duty to either call this person to repent uh -huh. for what he's doing. Uh -huh. Or, as it says in Ephesians 5.11, uh -huh. you're, you're to have no part right. in the evil deeds of darkness, but yeah. rather you are to expose them. Yeah, you know, I never thought about it that way. Thank most you. people don't. In fact, no, most just, churches would be like, oh, God yeah, will bless you. I've just been going to him for five years. You know, I didn't even, I always forget he's a fertility. I'm not going because of fertility. I'm just going for... Right, but that would be like saying, I'm going to Dr. Mengele because yeah. I heard he does really good dental exams. Yeah, no, I never... Yeah. Yeah, no, thank you. I never. And I never unfortunately, that this way. is one of the sins of the church that the church doesn't want to look at. Oh, there's so many. Well, the church yeah, is we know that. Right now. We know that. But <laughs> so this many. is this is one of them because right. actually churches churches actively participate in this and actually give their blessings yeah. on this. Yeah. When in fact, you're killing actually more children yeah. than you would if you just had one and had well, an my, abortion. My church actually. Uh, we did a, um, a teaching on birth control and that was eye-opening because I didn't realize because our church's stance that there's certain types of birth control that are abortive and I had no clue because your doctor doesn't tell you that. They just say this is what it does. They don't tell you that it it'll let the egg be fertilized but then your body will literally abort it. That's what, that's what I had no Plan clue. B does. Well, yeah, well, they have actual birth controls that you take right. on a daily basis that right. does that and I had no clue until our church taught on that. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I can't do that. Right, but, but now what does the church do in response to that? Okay. Well, either abstain, but well, it was a whole thing of like, yeah, well, why but, are you avoiding having children with your spouse? Is it because you're, is it fear? Is fear involved? It, I mean, they were like, really like, why are you just scared to have children? Right. Uh, uh, the birth control. And that's understandable. What I'm saying is your church now knows mm -hmm. what are they doing about it. See, like in this, IVF. Yeah. Churches not only know, they bless it. Oh, yes. yeah, that would yeah, be oh what right. a blessing from God. Yeah. You know, I 
and our church, I don't know what they do about it. I know they really push adoption a lot yeah. at our church, but I don't know what their stance is on uh, yeah. in vitro. But unfortunately, yeah, that's, that's a really good point. Unfortunately, more children die. Yeah, you're, you're right. No, you're totally right. For every baby created here, you're looking at probably 20 that have been yeah, died, that died because of it. Yeah, because when my stepmom did, they did the same thing. They took some eggs out, like, these are the three best ones, mm -hmm. put them in, only one took. Right. She, after she right. had my yeah, One took, she, so what happened to the other? She went back, got the rest of them put in just to try. Didn't It didn't take, but but I do know what you mean, because other women like, oh, I got my baby, I don't need the rest of them. Right. So it's like, you know, it's one thing if it's an act of God. Right. It's another thing when you decide, well, God already for some reason is not allowing me to have children so yeah. now I'm going to take it in my hands right. and I'm going to do something about it exactly. and see like I said most churches are okay with that yeah. and it's sad it really is Which look us up uh, we have a church our own home oh, church yeah. that we have like right. families come to oh, um, cool. we're the abolitionist society of Little Elm you can find us on oh, um, okay. yeah Little Elm in Frisco and you can find us on Facebook and yeah I mean we uh awesome. We stand out in front of the schools every day. Yeah. We stand here. We stand at the clinics. We stand at the churches on Sundays, mm -hmm. you know, because it's time that people start actually believing in the Word of God and not just professing. Like this lady here, she, she was spouting. She wouldn't answer one question oh, biblically. Yeah. And all that means is that she's just, all she has done is she's created a God that is good with her. Yeah, and a great deception. And picks and chooses the pieces she likes, and this is my God. Right. And I call him Jesus. Yeah. And I'm saved. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. Right. You're either for him or you're against him. That's exactly. what Jesus said. Yeah. Well, I appreciate what you're doing bringing awareness. Well, I really appreciate you coming yeah. over and speaking to us. Most people don't, so. Oh, I'm sure they're just frightened. <laughs> they're well. Like, oh, you're, yeah, well, you know, there's some, there's some Christians out there that they're so aggressive and they don't come with the love of Jesus. Yeah, it, so it it, I mean, do you away. feel threatened? I mean, I'm, I'm, am I yelling at you? But I'm level headed. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, but some people, that's, that's. No, you they, know, mean, they mean they like mean like it. you're going against. As the old saying says, the truth sounds like hate to those who hate you're the truth. It's conviction, is what it is. Mm -hmm. Conviction stirs some people. They don't want to be convicted, and it right. causes anger and anxiety, and they they attack you. Right, and when you point that out, like I did with this lady, I kept pointing out, where is that? Well, what does God's word say about that? Yeah. It's just my opinion. It's my opinion. It's my opinion. And you're not a good Christian. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, ma'am, you've placed your face in a God that you've created, yeah, which a lot of people have done. Yeah. Yes, I appreciate it. But I appreciate you coming over and speaking to us. Yeah. We're going to start being out here because school's over now, so we're going to start being out yeah, here and the other ones. Thank you for giving me something new to consider because yeah. I'm still growing in my faith and learning, like, yeah, Shoot. go to um, abolishhumanabortion.com, okay. and it has all stuff on IVF, on abortion, because we have, as abolitionists, we have women in our societies that are... You telling her about the 13,000 kids right now waiting to be adopted in Texas? Yeah, our, our church is actually real big into that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can you imagine that? 13,000 kids, but... People don't want them because they're not babies, you know? I'm Todd. Oh. Hey, no, I know. So. I, I know. I keep asking my husband. I've been asking for three years. Uh, have you thought about adoption? Oh, no, I never thought about it. I'll bring it up again. Have you thought about it? No, I haven't. I'm like, come on, babe. I've well, asked you four times. We think about it. <laughs> women have power, okay? Yeah. Now, there's still the, the man is the head, but like, women have power, right? Yeah. And uh, like, we've adopted six foster kids. All right, and my wife was the one driving that. And you know what? After we got two, when the when the third one came, I was like, we Sold. we did good already. Yeah. Like we already got two, you know, yeah. the three. And then it was like, uh, then CPS came back to us, the sibling family of another three, and said they're gonna get broken up, and the girl is gonna go into an orphanage. Would, would you take her? And my wife's yeah. like, yeah, we'll take her. So like, if you just start doing it, yeah. your husband will follow. Yeah. You know, like the man's supposed to be head of the house, right? Yeah. But a woman who follows God is yeah. industrious and you know is like the keeper of the home and does these things right the Bible even says you know Proverbs woman you know she sells in the marketplace she's a blessing to her husband yeah. and you know what those adopted kids have been a huge blessing to me I mean like I love them so much you know yeah my little my littlest brother is adopted yeah he's so his mom was a crackhead and he was 
Yeah. The, sancti honest, yeah. the sanctity of life begins at conception. Yeah. Well, he brought up some good yeah. points that I had never, I never considered because I, I'm not going here for fertility. Uh -huh. I'm just going yeah. for a, a checkup. Yeah. 